Do you have any tips from a marketing point of view about exercises that a writer can do to keep themselves from falling into that pitfall of thinking that their preference is other people's preferences as well? Well, one of the things you can do is be a voracious reader in your genre, because when you're reading other books and seeing what's happening and you're following what those authors are doing, if you're signing up for other author newsletters, if you're watching what they're doing on Amazon or watching how other people are responding to their books on Amazon, reading reviews of books that are your comp titles and things like that, you can glean a lot of that. But this is also a great way for you to use your social media to ask questions. Like people love giving advice. They love, love giving advice. So you can ask questions like this in your social media. Hey, is this important to you? I'm thinking about doing this. Would this resonate with you or would it not? In your newsletters, these are types of questions that you can ask people. And this is another reason why growing that launch team is so important because that's a built-in audience of people who are interested in you, interested in your book and why you should start building it early in the process so they can help give you feedback. You can show different covers. Hey, you guys, what do you think? Which one of these resonates? with you, those types of things, they can be implemental in much more than just leaving reviews on launch day. And to your point, from any type of marketing perspective, we're getting ready to launch our annual author marketing program, Book Launch in a Box. And I, I hate long sales pages. I can't stand them when you get to a page and you're like, I just want to know what this program includes and what it's going to cost me and what other people say about it. That's all I want to know. But I was like, so do we really need to create all of these fancy images with pictures of all the things? Cause I don't care and blah, blah, blah. And I was ready to cut all of that stuff off. And half of my team was like, no, I totally want to see a picture with graphics of things. And I want to see these. And I want 72 frequently asked questions that go through everything. So you really do, you have to know that to your point, exactly the way you process something or think about something is not the way other people do it. We come into everything with our own biases. So know how your reader thinks. 